Chess friends, how are you? Today I played Bonkloud opening against my friend Alpha Zero. I will teach you Bonkloud and if you want to give a video suggestion, then you can comment me. Rahul always encourage me. Thank you. So let's go. I started with e4. We have e5. Here I played king to e2 which is called Bonkloud. I suggest you to play this opening with chess bots at the level of your elo. The more you struggle in chess the more you will be invincible. The Bonkloud's further defense is to develop your pieces and build a good unbreakable defensive structure, don't push your pawns too much, behind the Bonkloud opening, its theory is that at the time of end game, the king have to go to his opponent pawns and center, so you moved up your king to prepare end game at the game move too, next theory is that if black tries to do short castle, then you can push your king side pawns to surprise him, and if, black tries to do castle on queen side. Then you have queenside pawns to attack him on queenside and so on, so in this position, Alpha is my old subscriber and he knows all of it, he played knight to f6, to target it, so knight here, Alpha strikes the center with d5, here I played d3 to stable the position, knight here, knight f3, bishop to b4 to eliminate my knight because he knows it's minus 1.2 position, so I take the center pawn, and we have big exchange, knight takes and queen takes d5, in this position, I played c3, to kicking out the bishop. Move back your king then play h4 and bishop e3, h4 move plan is to bring out the rook, to have a control over the file, or g file, ok, here alpha retreats his bishop on e7, I create space by playing h4, bishop to e6, this bishop move plan is to play f5, and prepare for long castle, I moved up my queen to b3, alpha says no, no queen exchange, I don't come here for your queen exchange, queen here, putting the queen on queen side because alpha want to castle on there which he did in the game. Now he is threatening to take the pawn on d3, I moved back my king from the cave of lion, now I want to develop my bishop, knight here to target this, because this pawn is well protected by the bishop, he has made his atom bomb to destroy my king position but my sniper bishop is enough to control queen and rook, so alpha played f5, he can play king here, then h6, e4 on his next turn to open up the position, if takes takes, then the position will be open, which means, your king is in middle of the board. And he have many weaknesses which alpha will use to defeat me, so I played bishop here to make a cover for my king, king to b8, bishop to g5, we have h6, bishop takes and queen takes, here we have h5 to make a barrier for black and I am threatening to bring my knight on there to fork chicken pieces, so bishop to d5, to target the knight, and threatening to play e4, I moved my knight to go to the g6 square, he moved the queen, king to f1, we have a6, rook up to h3, I don't fear of him. I will bring out my rook even it's. A closed position, rook here, then bishop f3 and takes, rook takes bishop to target this pawn as well, so alpha 0 responded it with rook to e8, here we have king g1, e4 by him, rook slides to d1, queen g5, if you think why I didn't make the exchange, but if you try to take the pawn, let me show you what if pawn takes pawn, then alpha will play rook takes e4, targeting the queen and the knight at the same time, if you dare to save the queen then he will take away your knight with the supporting of the queen. So, if you play knight to f3 to encounter the queen, then rook takes queen will happen, knight takes, takes and that's it, black gains extra piece to win the game, if you try to play rook here to make rook battery to pressure it, then black will simply slide the rook to target the bishop, so, back to the position, here we have queen back to c2, bishop back to e6 and threatening to play f4 to folding the diagonal to target the rook, so, I have to move back my rook, alpha takes the key pawn. We have rook takes d3, rook takes, queen takes, knight to e5, to target the queen, and he can play bishop here, f4 is the critical move, queen to c2, in this position, we have f4, here if you try to play any normal looking move for example, a3, then alpha will play bishop g4, to target it, pawn pushing, then f3, targeting the bishop and the pawn, so pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes check and king slides, then you will see killer move, queen to g2 check, king e1, queen takes rook, king d2. Rook takes e2, and that's it, there is mate in 6 moves, 
and chess friends, if you want to become smart to crash your opponent, then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more episodes, back to the position, we have knight f3 to stop the pawn from moving, knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes a2, queen to d2, I am want to play g4, if he do on passan, then queen takes, pawn takes, takes, try to make breathing room for the king, so we have rook d1 by alpha, queen here, bishop, backs. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.